Hello everyone, this is Dr. Russell Schaefer. Over the past weekend, uh, Vu Lee shared a case where he was trying to make some printed veneer temps for a patient, and I thought it was kind of a cool case because I want to show you how I do it um, using Blue Sky Plan. You know, he was trying to use it uh, doing uh, Medit and using clinics. And I just think Blue Sky, by Blue Sky Plan is kind of an easy way of doing it as well. Um, he was having some difficulty, um, but I just want to show you how I do it in my, in my office. Anyway, so we open up Blue Sky Plan, click Crown and Bridge. Uh, whenever you don't know which, whether you're doing conventional rounds or conventional or bridges, always open the bridge module because you can always do, if you open the bridge module, you can always open up crowns, but if you, don't, if you open the crown module, you can't open the bridge module. Anyway, so open bridge module. We'll open up the all three models here. He's got a uh, pre-op wax up, but he also has the models printed out too. All right, next we're going to align the models here. So select on maxilla, continue to align it, hold down shift, follow the prompts, hit continue, hit finish. Wonderful, now we've got our models all aligned. Continue to bridge design here. Good, good, good. Now we can see, we, we can see we had some preps here for some veneers that Vu cut. Very good preps, good, good, good. Um, let us go to put some teeth on them now here and let's see what space we got here. So we're going to make these models, make them transparent. So we can see how much space we got. Good. We look so we got about probably half a millimeter or so, maybe a millimeter, some spots. Wonderful. And let's see here. Great. So let us add some teeth now. I'm going to use just the Mitchhurst flat library. I like that one the most. Actually, it's just the Pontic library here. So we add some teeth. I hold down shift and click those um, 9, 10, 11. Hit OK. Hold down shift and left click. And I add those three teeth there. Now let's kind of get them to the right position here. I'm going to align 9 to where I want it to be at. Use the big arrow to kind of align things about where I want to put it at. Great. Good, good, good. And I got things kind of where I want to be at. Perfect. Now I'm going to go to Teeth Edit Panel, Manipulate Model, and I'm going to lock um, 10 and 11. And I'm going to hide those two teeth as well. Just let's play with just number nine first. That will be the easiest one to play with first here. And let's make Let's just move number nine to the right spot first. So I like to get the incisal edge first in the right spot. Good, that looks about right. Now let's get the facial right spot here. Perfect, kind of get the rotation here. Now, Blue Sky Plan does a really good job with crowns, but veneers and onlays, it has a lot of str it struggles with a lot. So I'm actually not gonna make these into crowns. I'm gonna do kind of a simple Boolean subtract, which is pretty much of the bridge module is. And I'll show you how we did it. So we're first going to kind of try to mimic the bridge, I mean, mimic the wax up by just having a little bit of show through all the way through. So I'm almost trying to make these things almost look exactly like it. I would honestly, in my office, I'd probably make these things just a hair bit thicker. Um, when you print out, it's just a little bit easier to print out something that's a little thicker because um, it's easier to cut back, just chair side. That's just my experience with things. You know, I'd rather have things just be a little thicker because um, it's so easy to cut back chair side than to um, try to um, add remove stuff as we go along here. Perfect. Just adding, removing until we get to where we get a good margin there. Good, good, good. Great. And let's just add right here as well. I keep on losing this. I don't know why. Every now and then it does that. Add a little bit of geometry right here. Make the tool size a little bit longer. Hit Control Z. Whenever you want to go back and undo something, just hit Control Z. Not a big deal. There we go. Good. Cut that first tooth there. Let's just make this a little bit. Let's make the cervical a little bit smaller right here. Make the cervical a little bit bigger right here. Oops. 
little bit thicker right there. Perfect. Now we got a tooth right there. Good. Now let's lock this tooth right here. Now let's go to the next tooth here. All right, number seven. Right click it, unlock it. Now let's go back to manipulation of models and let's move this one out. Rotate it slightly. Move it out a little more. Bring it down to make the incisal edge where we want to put it at here. Good, good, good. Move it over immediately a little more. A little bit more there, perfect. Let's thicken it up a little more. Good, good, good. Great, great. And let's see here. Rotate a little more right there. Let's see here. Rotate a little more. Let's see here. How far away are we? Well, I'm kind of playing with this a little bit here. Okay. That looks pretty close. Lock that one. Let's get number 11 now. 11 is pretty far off, not too big of a deal. We're just moving into place. Rotate it. You can see 11 is a pretty small tooth for this patient right here. Let's make it a lot smaller. Let's trans make some things transparent here so I can really see where it is. And actually, we're going to hide that, the blue model, hide the prep model so I can see stuff a lot better here. Good. Bring that down some, bring that one more occlusal or incisal, whatever we want to call it here. Let's rotate a little bit here. All right, so we got stuff kind of in the right spot here. Now let's do a little bit of fine tuning here. And obviously I like doing this stuff. You know, some people think, might say this is a waste of time. It, it might be, you know, if you're a busy office, yeah, you shouldn't be doing this stuff. But I don't run a busy office. So not a waste of my time in my mind. I think that the more you do this stuff, control wax, I like where it was beforehand. Now let's start seeing kind of where, let's start trying to modify the teeth a little bit here, see how far off I am here. Okay, so I don't like where my um, gingival margin is here. So let's start really try to play with this stuff here a little more. Good. Let's add to it. Good. Make it a little thicker on that side right there. Perfect. Good. Let's see what it looks like here now. Let's make it a little bit. All I'm really doing here is I'm just kind of just trying to really mimic it pretty well. You know, trying to copy, almost make these teeth about as similar to those teeth as possible here. You know, like I said, maybe just focus on making it a little bit thicker than the other ones, because why not? Perfect, good. Let's go to the next one here. Transparency. All right, let's make it a little bit smaller now. Unlock it. New plate model. Transparency. That looks pretty close. Let's see this one here, transparency. And that looks almost spot on right there. Good. Let's make it a little bit thicker as well. Make it a little bit wider, I mean, and immediately. Good. Let's just make it a hair bit more facially thicker. Actually, let's just go back here. Good. Great. Yep. Make it a little more distally thicker. Good. Let's make this one a little bit more measly thicker here. Good. And let's make add a little more right here as well, just to kind of cheat on that gap right there. Great. Good. 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 Oh, add a little bit right there. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like on the preps themselves. 
transparency, toggle visibility here. Good. Now we're going to kind of move all the, because we're just going to do the simple Boolean subtraction, which is what uh, the bridge module really does here, the bridge function does. We're going to kind of remove everything from the linguals here. So all I'm doing is just using the tooth edit panel and just removing, so holding out control and removing everything from that side right there. So it's going to be really easy here. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Let's add a little bit right here just to kind of square it up a little more here and just kind of bulk up our margins a little bit. Very good. Let's compare it to our mandibular a little bit. Great. And last but not least, now let's see what happens when we create our bridge. So what you want to do when you create a bridge, you want to have the model present that you want to use and the teeth that you want to use as well that are present. So we plan a new bridge, because I tried to do this earlier because I wanted to do everything. And we hit on there, you have the three teeth present. It just creates a simple union. Great, we got that. You want to have the path to draw. So we kind of want to see all of the margins that we want to have and hit set direction for insertion, good. So you know, a simple block out. That's kind of the block that I want to have. Don't have any undercut. Perfect. Next. And a little bit of overhang right there, but we can have that. We can cut that out later on. And now it creates our oh, And guess what? We got our bridge now. And so now we got to print this right now. It'll print that out. And so, yeah, I would print this out right here. And we are good to go. So we just go file, export. Not swap page orientation. Export it as just a bridge. It wouldn't charge you an export. And there you go. I'd print that out. I would just take a hand piece and kind of cut off those little excess pieces that are going to get caught. You know, but you probably use it to kind of help you, help you kind of lock it on in. But you would have a bridge to, a little nice little temporary bridge to cement in there or to do a temporary cement. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching.